Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this unboxing video on a Monday, that's exactly, as he tries to grab it, what I'm going to be doing. So, what we've got in here, this might be quite easy actually, I think, to be honest. Um, so it's, it's, it's actually more difficult to make it hard than easy. Um, right, it's, it's a Generation 1 character and it is actually a Generation 1 figure, but it wasn't released in Generation 1. Um, it's not a Japanese exclusive version of it, so it's not an e-hobby version of it. Um, the character itself just it just gets an abundance, an absolute abundance use. I suppose re reissues and uses of the same mold and everything. It's um, it's it's such he's such a great character. Uh, whether you love him, whether you hate him, um, he's he always always get to release no matter what sort of toy line it is um, even in the generations toy lines he gets he gets at least one version of him um, I have no idea actually how many versions of him there are um, this one though I think is probably this might be the latest version of him or the newest shall we say so that's that's a huge clue straight away I think this is the newest version of him um, there was a version of him in legacy but it was from a different toy line whereas this one as i say is a g1 version of him um and it's even using a g1 mold um but it's slightly redecoed um so there's quite a few clues there um this originally came out i say last year but in the uk we really really struggled to get hold of it it took forever to get hold of so i have to thank tim banerjee um he managed to acquire me one of these from america and uh, well, in fact he got three he got one for me one for matt and one for him um, and, they, and somebody shipped them over to America for, from America for us. Um, funnily enough, they've used the mould. They're going to be using the mould already. I think the new use of the mould is actually out this week. So if you're watching this video um, any time after 27th of March or whatever it is, um, it's it's going to be completely outdated. But they're already, I think the new version or the colour use of, his, of this particular mould will be out this week. Um... What makes it different is say a slightly different deco and an absolutely beautiful box. And I think that's given away enough of what it is. It is, of course, the movie Starscream figure. So I don't know if I'm bothered about it having no window, to be honest. I think the artwork is beautiful. Um, and this just goes to the list <laughs> um, of, of other new figures that I'll be doing this week. So there you go. Let me know if you got him. Let me know in the comments. Take care.